Daily Deals is a Target clearance store. This is a good find. They have some good lighting finds today. Oh my God, I feel like this is honestly one of my favorite things I've ever found here. What? No, 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 no. It's also like new from Studio McGee. It's really thick, feels like great quality soap. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop with me videos, home decor and DIY home decorating videos. I love shopping in all my favorite stores like Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Kirkland's, World Market, stores like that to show you what is new. Sales or clearance deals I think you may love and tons of seasonal decor. So if you love videos like that, if you love DIY room transformation, we just moved and I'm transforming our entire house. I have another video coming up really soon that I'm excited about. Definitely be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It helps other people to find my videos and it helps my channel grow. So I really appreciate it when you give my video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss all of my future videos. And you can also hit the notification bell and YouTube will notify you every single time I post a new video. I'm so excited for today's video. We're shopping at Daily Deals. If you haven't seen my other Daily Deals videos, Daily Deals is a Target clearance store. It's like Target Salvage. I'll leave a list down below below if you want to see if there's one in your area. It won't be a daily deals unless you live in Florida, but there's tons of stores that do things just like this. So daily deals is like you can shop from the bins and then they also have furniture. So today is a $4 day. I'll kind of explain it a little bit more when I go in in case you haven't seen any of my other videos like this. But today everything in the bins is $4 and then it's like 50% off furniture. I'm just looking for like a bunch of different things. I haven't been here in a couple weeks, so I wanted to make the trip over here, but I will leave the list down below if you wanna see if there's a store like this near you. I also wanted to say, if you don't, please be sure to go follow me over on Instagram for Small Business Saturday, which is this weekend. I will be doing a fun little giveaway, but it will only be on Instagram and it will only be on Saturday. So if you're interested and if you love Starbucks, you're definitely gonna to wanna to go follow me over there. My handle is at Katie Vining. Just as a little token of my appreciation to all of my subscribers that I love so much, check it out on Instagram on Saturday. You're not gonna wanna miss it. With all that being said, let's head inside to Daily Deals, see what we can find today. If I find anything great, I definitely will do a haul at the end of the video. And yeah, I'm just so excited to get inside and see what they have. It's different every single time, so it's like a little treasure hunt. So if you wanna go treasure hunting with me, stay right where you are, because we're gonna head inside right now. So here's kind of how it works. It's actually a $2 day. I thought it was a $4 day, but when they reopen on Saturday, everything's 10 in the bins, then goes down to eight, six, four, today is two, tomorrow is one, and then on Friday, they're closed for a restock. It is is pretty empty right now I'm really shocked they don't have that much stuff over here in the furniture section these do look similar but they are different chairs you can see like the chair style is totally different but I love the braided black look I like this a lot this is nice this is by Studio McGee it is $35 I'm typically not into like landscape type pictures but I really like this one, and if nothing else, I really like the frame for $35. You could put a different picture in there if you want, but I like this because I feel like it would go well with what we're trying to do in the living room, which is similar to what we did in the guest bedroom, but kind of different where we're doing like light, cool-toned neutrals with dark accents. So I do like this, and I could always change out the picture. So this is 35, and then it'd be 50% off that. They do have a lot of lamps and lamp bases, which is nice, like this one. This is like a newer one from Studio McGee. The top is absolutely hideous because this is not the correct lampshade for this, but it's honestly could be worth it to just buy the base and change out the lampshade and then the top part. This has a name, but I can't remember what it's called right now. Um, so they have this, I don't know how much they're charging for this actually. Need to find a little tag. This one is also really nice. They have some different ones I haven't seen before. These could easily be from like Target Online. And then they also have a few different tall lamps that are nice. Like that base is super nice. You could also spray paint any of these. You could just need to get new shades and these are honestly as good as new. Oh my gosh. Wait, hang on a second. This pendant light is massive. It's 125 here, but they're doing an additional 50% off, I think. I don't know. Honestly, I'm confused. But it's like an oil rubbed bronze color this would be so cool over like a dining room table or something i'm obsessed then i also love a lot of these chairs they have these like braided chairs i like these a lot too i wish that they had like more than one they typically have more furniture i know i can still get these on target though this is 65 and i really really like it so this is 140 this is massive this is a studio mcgee pendant light i have been looking at the smaller ones for over our island but this could be really cool for over the breakfast nook 
Hmm, I really like this. The top, I think I would spray paint it black, but you could easily just tape it off and spray paint it. They have it here for 140, so I think it would be 50% off of that. And it has all like the hardware and everything right there. This is a good find. They have some good lighting finds today. This is pretty awesome. It's a set of three pendant lights for 60 bucks, but it'd be only 30. And all three of them are in here, like with the hardware and everything. That's pretty awesome. That's a really good deal. Here's like a flower shaped lampshade, just like a completely intact and protected lampshade. Here's just like a clear glass ceiling pendant. And this is in here. It's like not broken or anything, which is super nice. That's nice if you want to change out like a boob light to something more modern. That's perfect. So I really like these two chairs right here. I am starting to shop for our like kitchen makeover and i like the tone of wood of these chairs because it's not like too warm it's actually like more on the cool side but i still want to do warm tones i just need them to be like not super super yellow i also really like this one this chair is only 40 dollars. this would be great because if i could get two of these at 50 dollars, like 50 percent off then if i have to just buy one full price it's really not that bad um we are doing like a l-shaped breakfast nook so we'll need three regular chairs and I feel like these would be perfect. I actually found these chairs on Target. They are the Astrid Mid-Century Dining Chair. They come in a bunch of colors. They come in a two pack for 170. I'm wondering if I could just get one more because we would only need one more. We don't need two more. But these are nice. I'm definitely interested in these. They come in literally so many different colors. Um, I'll definitely have these linked down below. But yeah, these are the natural color. Really like them. They just are more cool toned, which I really like. I feel like it would go well with the light that we got for over the breakfast nook. We already got one, and I think we're just going to go ahead and use it. So I really like these. Here's an outdoor couch. This just needs a cushion, which can sometimes be pretty difficult to find but this would be a good price. And they do sell them at Home Goods, so this is really nice. It is starting to unravel a little bit, but that can definitely be fixed, so it's not really something I'd be concerned about. I wish they had more furniture, like more outdoor furniture. That's like what I'm looking for. Okay, so I just got more of a direct answer. Like if it's marked, like that Studio McGee light is marked 140, so it's additional 50% off of that. So they price their stuff at 50% off Target's original price or sale price. Whatever it is on the Target app is it's 50% off of that, and then they're doing an additional 50% off. It's a really good deal. I love this threshold accent table. I love the little thing at the bottom. You could easily put like a faux plant. This would be great for it next to a couch. The marble top is beautiful. This is only 50, so it'd only be 25. I kind of want to get it. I feel like I could use it in the loft, but I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what direction I'm going with with the loft yet. And then also the bottom part I like, but it also reminds me of like um, the like thing you put pool balls into when you're like organizing them. <laughs> but this one's really pretty too. I feel like this is a little bit more of the style that I'm going for in the loft. Like I like the dark woods. That's really pretty. And then it has a marble top, but it has like a big chip in it, unfortunately. So that's like with this place, you just gotta check the items. Sometimes they're in perfect condition and sometimes there's a little like issue with them. So just check everything if you come here. This is another really good find. This is the Casa Luna like oversized hand knit throw blanket. It's like the super chunky knit. I've always wanted one of these, but I just feel like they don't look like nice after like, you can't like wash them, I feel like. Um, just cause they start to come apart really easily. This is the black one I really like it it's $40 but then an additional 50% so it's only be 20 bucks when I'm pretty sure this is like well over a hundred dollars at Target I'll put the info right here so this is a really really nice find but I'm gonna leave it for somebody else I am still rug shopping so I wanted to come over here and check out these they have a couple in the green wrapping that I'm interested in so I need to see what those look like kind of dig through here and see if I can't find one of the few rugs that I'm actually looking for right now so there is this one that I think is like a round rug. It's by Hearth and Hand. It says it right here on this tag. And I can see it's like jute with black. So I'm definitely interested in this. I was able to scan it, but like the service in here is just so bad that I'm having trouble getting anything to load. But I'm really interested in this one. I'm also really interested in this one, but I'm having like a parent trap moment where like 
my duffel is stuck like I cannot get it out I need to move these ones first but I'm interested in this one too kind of is like it's really really thick and it's a color that I like and it has this like taupe striping it looks like so I really want to get this one out of the bag a lot of people open them and kind of like lay them out right here so I think I'm gonna do that with this one if I can't like find out what it's called and see like a full picture okay so the oval one finally loaded that's what it looks like it's actually really pretty I don't know if it can be used indoor and outdoor huge fan of this one though hmm there's also a bunch of outdoor rugs right here that are like hearth and hand and stuff so I'm definitely interested in these like there's just like so many different rugs right here I just need to like kind of dig them out and see what we're working with this one has some pretty green which I like okay here's the other one I freaking love this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, this one is a Studio McGee rug. It's originally $180. i am not exactly sure how they price the rugs here. I need to ask. A lot of them say that they're like 50 bucks. so I need to ask. I'm obsessed with this one though. Here it is if you guys are interested in it. It's the Cedar Hills Plush Geoprint Rug in Cream. Oh my god, I feel like this is honestly one of my favorite things I've ever found here. It's showing up a lot more yellow on camera than it is. Um, but it's kind of like that like tea bag stained color and I love the taupe in it. Oh my gosh, this is perfection. Oh my god, I just I can't believe I found this. I'm absolutely in love. Okay, I loaded this into my cart. Can I get the price on it? I'm in love. Really feeling hopeful that I'll get it for a good deal. Okay, so I haggled them down, but we'll talk about it at the end. I got it, paid for it, put it in my car, and now I'm back inside, and I wanna show you a little bit of what is in the bins. I just like wanted to make sure I grabbed those items, um, or the rug, because I just loved it so much. They always have like bins and bins and bins of Christmas stuff, but I do see, oh. <laughs> Half of a 4th of July wreath. <laughs> Oh wow, that was so funny. I honestly normally skip past these just because I'm typically not in the headspace to look at Christmas stuff for like several months after Christmas, but I'm getting back in my groove, starting to think about my Christmas decor, and it could be pretty nice to find some stuff. Ornament packs, I don't know. I, oh, here's the other half of that wreath. Honestly, you could glue it back together, but why would you? I always find cardinal stuff when I come here and it always makes me think like it's a little hello from my dad. This is funny. These are actually still in the dollar spot. Like these are in the dollar spot right now. These are brand new. So they have these shovels here. These would be only two bucks in the dollar spot. They are five and they have this massive box of them. They have a lot of dollar spot stuff. Typically it's like Christmas stuff. Although they do have these in the dollar spot right now too. But like look at the bottle brush trees. That's actually kind of fun. These are always so popular. So these would be two bucks, but I think they were like one buck. So this is something that like you wait until one dollar day, which is tomorrow, to like come and get, you know? This is like the most full bin they have today. So there are some other like hidden gems in here, like this little like bamboo organizer. This could be great for like makeup brushes or on like a desk for like pens, pencils, highlighters, things like that. This will only be two dollars. I don't think that's what this is meant for, but that's like a couple different things you could use it for. You could also use it for like remotes, um, different little things like all over your house, honestly. Could be like a sunglass holder on like an entryway table or a little like mudroom drop zone. Yeah, these bins are like a disaster. The bins are honestly like more Brian's thing, so I wish that he was here with me. Ooh, is this like a weighted hula hoop? Oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> a weighted hula hoop. Here's a candle. I love candles. Paolo Santo. Ooh, it smells like cinnamon. That smells kind of good. It's pretty cool for just two bucks. Although the funniest thing about it is that it's already burned. <sighs> this is a rough day at Daily Deals. Let me tell you. Not my best shopping trip. Now I'm guessing this box is empty. <clears throat> it is. Uh, I was hoping to actually find this. I love my Dash waffle makers and it'd be cute to have a heart one. There's like their back room and there's so many boxes with furniture. They do put a lot of it together before they put it out, but I just wish they'd let me rummage through there. I have a really good relationship with the owner of the Jacksonville location. He's so nice and they just run their stores really, really differently, which I've mentioned a couple times. This one's just not the same and it makes me sad. 
but it is what it is. This is why I don't like to dig through the bins. Like, that just, there could be good things hidden under there, but I'm not gonna find out. What? What is going on today? What? No, 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 no. This is pretty cool. This is like the peel and stick um, tile. This is like a subway tile. So this pack would be two bucks and there's probably a couple more in here. So that's a good deal. This I love because I absolutely love friends. It's a 2022 day at a time calendar and it has images, trivia and quotes from friends, which I love. It'd be fun to like kind of go through them to get caught up. Here's an electric kettle for two bucks. I mean, it's like super dented. But I'm just gonna keep digging and if I find anything cool, I'll do a haul at the end. Alrighty, just got back in the car, sanitized my hands. This was such an interesting shopping trip. This location is just like, I don't know, it's so hit or miss. I just met a couple girls in there and it was their first time and I was like, you gotta come like several times before you decide if you like it or you don't like it. I've also been, I think on every single like shopping day now, like $10 day through $1 day. This location definitely does not restock throughout the week like the Jacksonville location. If you live between the two or if you have the opportunity, visit the Jacksonville location, it is amazing i love this one too but that one's just a lot better has a different owner the owner there is super friendly um and yeah i just have like really good experiences at the jacksonville one but this one is obviously like 20 minutes from my house and that one's like two and a half hours from my house love them both i will leave the list down below if you want to see like if there's a store similar to this in your area just know that it might not be this setup of like format it might have um something other than bins like it just could be totally different but have like similar type merchandise but if you want to see if there's one in your area the list will be down below i only picked up one thing today the rugs were the star of the show i did pick up this rug it is originally by studio mcgee it was originally 180 and i ended up getting it for 70 dollars honestly the owner like he had like his sales today but then like didn't want to honor them even though the other employee like told me how it's supposed to be whatever i just really wanted the rug it was 180 i got 110 dollars off so i got it for 70 bucks which i feel like is a really good deal for a brand new rug it's also like new from studio mcgee it's really thick feels like great quality so i'm super pleased with it it's like the color i want the look i'm going for and it's gonna look really good where i'm putting it i'm not saying yet um just know that i do have a lot of makeover videos in the works um Furniture is just taking like a really, really long time to come in no matter where you order it from. Lots of things are pre-ordered or back-ordered. So I do have a lot of furniture that's coming. It's on the way. Things are in the works. Um, I'm kind of like doing the makeovers like as I get the items because I'm just so excited. Um, so I'm really excited to share those makeovers with you. Just know that furniture is coming. It's been ordered, but... Whew, those production times are just crazy long but that is gonna be it for me if you haven't yet please be sure to give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified every single time i post a new video definitely be sure to go follow me over on instagram you're going to want to keep an eye on my instagram stories this coming saturday for small business saturday i'm doing a little giveaway just as a token of my appreciation to you guys and you're not going to want to miss it especially if you like starbucks so i'm really excited about it be sure to go follow me over there hit the subscribe button the like button leave me a comment down below Below. Let me know what was your favorite item I showed today. That is going to be it for me. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!